There may be no wedding like an Indian wedding. The events could last for days, with music and dancing and traditions that go back centuries. Everywhere you look, there's a collection of colors, flowers, and food. And then there's the gold, breathtaking. Here it's a symbol of purity that also shows off the couple's wealth and well-being. I've heard several times since I've been here, no gold, no wedding. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> very the true. bride is ready, the groom is ready, the venue is set, the food is set. But if you don't have gold, there's no wedding. Divya Chauhan and Vithika Agarwal are former beauty queens. Today, they're business partners as wedding planners. In November, in the small southern city of Tamkoha, they pulled together the wedding event of the season. It's already very late, so you could just ask them to come quickly. Two of the town's elite families joined to the marriage of Nivedita Kapshah Murthy and Akshay Bhavakata, both doctors. Unlike Western cultures where it's about the bride and the groom, here it's about anything but the bride and the groom. Yeah. It's about two families coming together. together. Half of the gold Indians buy each year is jewelry bought for a wedding. And this was one of the estimated 10 million weddings that take place in India each year. But few rise to the level of this lavish affair stretched over five days. The tent was custom built for the ceremonies, water piped in for fountains, and musicians flown in from Mumbai, the entertainment capital of India. The lighting, audio, and video orchestrated like a Bollywood movie set. The family spent over $200,000 just on gold. Yes, 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 yes. Hidden in the corner behind a curtain was the other India. A full kitchen that could have been from another age, with a staff who earned about $2 a day. They prepared enough food to feed the more than 7,000 people invited to the reception. Guests came to wish the couple well, not to mention it gave everyone a chance to break out their finest gold jewelry. The gold will show off the prosperity and the stand of the family in the society. Is that vanity? What is that? It's not vanity. It's just something so culturally ingrained in us that you can't have reasoning around it. An Indian bride is usually given jewelry by her parents, gold they started buying when she was born. It's her financial security after she joins her husband's family, gold she'll control throughout the marriage. With three-fourths of Indian marriages arranged, the bride's goal can also carry a message. When the bride comes into the groom's family and she displays the gold that she has received from her family, it's like setting a subtle economic status within the family itself. So there's a slight power game happening there. I am new to the house, but I'm going to be taken seriously. Yes.